Nana here again. In this training, I'm going to teach you about how to change the look and feel of your springboard to your desired way. So let me go on and share it now. So if you go on and see, sometimes what happens when you log in, you'll be getting one such thing. Okay. <clears throat> so if you click on the product management, you'll be having the product information management here. You have to go here like this now. And then you go to whichever way you want. You go to the supply chain execution, you'll be finding it. Many people do not like this one. I love the goal goal one. So you can also choose whichever you want. There are plenty of what happens, the themes which are available, you know. And if you click on it, what happens is it's coming not on a what happens in a paper a spreadsheet like sort of a thing, but it's coming one below the other. Fine. This is also not that is highly desired now. So this all can be customized actually. Now here what happens, you go to the configuration. This menu, I think, needs some roles, but I'm not sure about uh, which role is now allowing you to bring the configuration. Fine. Just make an examination of it now. I'm working on vision and so what happens now appearing. So vision has got all the roles. So configuration uh, menu, what happens? One student was saying he's not getting the configuration menu at all. Fine. Please tell me uh, which one, which role will now facilitate this configuration role. I click on the appearance on this one. I go to the appearance now. <clears throat> so here, what happens? You can now see is a leather feed is the current team actually. So let me edit it now. So I'm going to edit, and this is the preview of it. Now. This is how the springboard will look like actually. So click on edit now. The right hand side. So it has. You have to be on a sandbox. Then only what happens? I can do it now. Fine. I will know. I have already created one sandbox now. I will now activate my sandbox. So through the uh, name, and then you can even put the sandbox. Create a sandbox actually. And go in the plus also we can very well create. So I will now keep your customer on the springboard, and then let me set it as active. Fine. We have to be on a sandbox for changing changes to the appearances, basically, as well as page customization. So page customization, I think, needs or what happens, you must be on a sandbox. And then try to avoid any transactions during a sandbox area. A sandbox is not for transactions, basically. It's only for appearances and other customization, basically. On the page customization, you normally go there. And then when you want to come, and then do a transaction, exit the sandbox and then do it. Now. You click on it now. Here, again, go there. Go to the same place now. Go there. Go to the place. And then you go to the configuration and click on appearance. So I will now go to the appearance. Now I'll be in the edit mode now. Fine, go there. So now here, what happens if you drop down? There are plenty of themes which are available. These are all the predefined themes actually. And then these are all the saved themes whenever somebody has made a change. What happens? So let me go and then apply the default theme over there. Click on the default. So once when you apply default, what happens? You can now see the preview is now coming like this. So this is what I desire actually. And then the background shape also can be changed. Fine, there's a circle or you can have a square. I will now make it as a round square now. If I click on the round square, you can now see this is a round square actually. And then it's a multicolor. There are so many options of that. All these things you can experiment. Fine. Size is extra large. I will now make it as a small now. Fine. This is a very big one. Small is beautiful. I will now make it as small. So I don't want an extra large actually. Fine. I made it as a small one now. So there is any name. My miniature is not there. Fine. Small is okay. Fine for us now. Fine. So likewise, what happens? You make some changes. You can even add your logo. That logo will be coming. You put up your logo on the images directory. So that will be coming on the left top actually. And then the background image, all these things on the images directory. Background image as well as the logo can be done now. Fine. It will be excellent as per your or your thing. And there are so many personalizations you can do it now. Fine. There's a transparent one is there. Fine. Go there. You just see fine. Go there. things that are available here. Oh, this is a color basically. Fine. <clears throat> So likewise, you make a change and then click on apply now. Click on In this case, what happens? You have to give a name also. Once when you click on apply, <clears throat> what happens? No ask. Right? I will not say it's a test theme three. I have now created so many, so I'm not just making it as three now. Click on test theme three, and you can see that will be coming on the this theme area actually. <clears throat> so test theme three is now that. So that will be coming. So personalize it to your desired extent, and then what happens? You uh, start to use it now. Find whether it's not and this theme theme is coming. Click on apply now. So it's not right. And then there's a small icon. Kuti kuti icon. <coughs> Go there. So you want us. And now what happens? This is all completed actually. Fine. The theme is now applied. Fine. So don't uh, you can even apply a default also. If you go to the actions, what happens? You can also see the default can uh, the default can also apply. Or you can even delete certain themes on this now. And then uh, uh, leave it as a make a change. And then if you want to make it safe, all these things you make an explain. Fine. Now having done this, what happens? You go there, click on it and then exit the sandbox. I'm going to exit the sandbox. It's not going to exit the sandbox. Now what you do is, <coughs> so it will not come out of that. Now, when you log out and log in, what happens? Your new theme will be coming on this page. Spring board now. So, there's no log out and log in now. Sign out and sign in. So, click on confirm. <coughs> and then, let me again sign in now. So, you'll see. <coughs> 
it's still not coming now. It will now take some time. Fine, you have to wait for some time now. Fine, I'll now wait until afterwards. I will again load now. I made one mistake here. After having made all the changes, what you have to do is you have to click on it, and then click on the more, and then publish the sandbox. Actually, the sandbox has to be published now. So publish the sandbox. So that what happens? Whatever changes you made will be retained as such. You will come publish. Now. So you have to publish it. Then you log out and log in. You will be able to see the new changes which are made will be appearing on the screen. The sandbox has to be published because sandbox has got a change and that will be retained for the next login as such. You know that. So if you go there and then let me come out of it now. Click on sign up. I just want to exit it actually, let it publish it actually. So let us now go there and then log in again. <clears throat> And you can see <coughs> your own style of what happens your springboard is not there. So this completes how to customize your sending board. There are so plenty of options there. You can even put your logo over here and then you can even have a repeat images, all these things there. And try to see uh, the themes which are available and then see whichever is good, you can do it now. So now meet again on a next trading campaign. Bye now. See. <coughs>